Hi everyone, um, this video is going to be a, a comprehensive video of stretches and um, exercises to help increase your turnout. Um, so the, I'll be going through all of the exercises with you. All right, so this first exercise is going to be a rotator activation. You just need a small uh, like wall space to do this, um, you're gonna be lying on your back. Um, if you have like a wood floor or something, I would recommend doing like a little yoga mat um, to lay on. So you're gonna um, lay with your legs straight up on the wall. You're gonna wanna make sure that your legs are parallel and uh, we're gonna flex our feet, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate from the hips. Now, when we rotate from the hips, we wanna make sure that um, we're not using the feet to turn out, right? Because that's gonna put stress on our ankles. We wanna use the hips. You should feel your inner thighs working as well as your glute muscles. So we flex the feet, right? We rotate from the hips. Okay, you should feel a nice stretch on the middle and your glute muscles, and then go back to parallel. Turn out, and back to parallel. Turn out, feel those muscles in the hips working. Back to parallel. Turn out, back to parallel. Turn out, back to parallel. Turn out. Back to parallel. You can also do this with the feet pointed, right? So point stretched along through those toes. We'll turn out, parallel. 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 So uh, this exercise, uh, you wanna do this first just so you can kind of warm up the muscles because um, it's not too strenuous. Um, it's kind of fairly uh, easy on the muscles, but you're still gonna get a good warm up on them. All right, this next exercise is going to be hip abduction with external rotation. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to uh, put your back all the way up against a wall. You can rest your hand or rest your head on your hand. Your bottom leg is gonna bend and your foot should be flat up against the wall. The leg on top is going to be straight, foot is pointed. You're gonna turn out as much as you can from the hip, okay? Press it up against the wall, okay? So your back, the foot of your bottom leg and your top leg should all be pressing firmly against the wall. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your foot about a, or lift your leg about a foot off of the ground and you're gonna hold it for two seconds. Repeat as you lift, trying to keep that rotation of the leg, right? Lift it as far up as you can, keeping it turned out and then slowly lower. It's a lot harder than it looks. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping this leg, uh, the top leg turned out <clears throat> and not letting it turn in. So once again, you're gonna lift, hold for two seconds, make sure it's pressed firmly up against the wall, lift, hold. At some point, your leg is probably gonna start turning in and then that's when you'll go ahead and lower, okay? So uh, do this on both legs. I would say about five to 10 times each leg. All right, this uh, next one is called clamshells. Um, so this is gonna also help those deep muscles in your glutes get a good workout. Um, you can do this with or without a fair band. Um, so you're gonna lie on your side Remember, you're gonna do this on both sides, so it doesn't really matter what side you start with. 
Um, you're gonna wanna bend your knees so that your legs are about at like a 90 degree angle. Um, you want your toes right underneath your butt, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna keep your feet connected so they stay touching and you open the top knee up as far as you can without leaning back, okay? So you might also wanna do this up against a wall, um, but you don't have to, but if you feel like you're gonna lean back and uh, mess with your alignment, I would probably do it up against the wall. Um, so you lift that knee as high as you can, and then you bring it back down, and that's it. So lift up and down. You should feel that muscle in your glute working up and down. If you were to do this with a TheraBand, you would put the TheraBand around your thighs, okay? So you would tie the TheraBand around your thighs and then that would give you the extra resistance, right? And that would work out your muscle a little bit more in the glute, okay? So depending on uh, if you do it with a TheraBand or without a TheraBand, um, the reps are gonna change. So I would probably do uh, 15 to 20 um, without the TheraBand and then probably 10 to 15 with the TheraBand on each side. All right, this exercise is called a uh, tensor fascia late uh, turn and stretch. Um, so actually works in the turn, the pair, the turn in muscles rather than the turn out muscles, but they're just as important. Um, so you're gonna want something to anchor the TheraBand with, and you're gonna tie the TheraBand around uh, whatever anchor you have. So I used a chair, and then I put another chair on top of it so that uh, it could uh, stay grounded and not slide as much. I also, I have a wood floor, so I had to put it on uh, a yoga mat so I wouldn't slide. Um, so you're going to wrap, tie the TheraBand around the anchor and then you're going to put the leg closest to uh, the anchor through the TheraBand around the thigh. You're going to go into a lunge. So you're going to take the other foot and go into a lunge. Okay. You're going to put your opposite hand on your hip, right? So you're going to want to be leaning forward. If you want to feel a bigger stretch, you just go further away so that the TheraBand is pulling, okay? Arm will be up and you'll go ahead and stretch to the side, okay? You should be feeling that muscle, the inside muscle stretching of your thigh, right? And then we'll come back to the center and we'll do it again, stretch over to the side and back up and again, stretch. And up, right, so you're using both sides of your uh, thigh to pull away from the TheraBand. And up, and then uh, you would just uh, turn around and put your uh, other leg through the TheraBand to repeat on the other side. All right, this next exercise is uh, a piriformis exercise. So the piriformis muscle is uh, deep behind your uh, glute muscles, right? And that's a very important muscle uh, for your turnout. So this one will uh, work out that muscle. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie a TheraBand around some sort of anchor that's about bar height uh, or like a lower bar height. You're gonna wrap it around uh, your outside leg the leg that's closest to your anchor is going to be parallel, okay? Um, I'm holding onto uh, the chair so that it doesn't pull, um, so you can help so that, uh, you know, it won't like fall over or anything, okay? The leg that has the TheraBand wrapped around, you're gonna go up to passe, and all you're gonna do is turn out your passe and then go back to parallel turn out, parallel. If you want more of a stretch, just step further away, or more resistance, step further away, open, parallel. So this is working that muscle that's deep behind our glutes. 
And when we're turning out, these are the muscles that we want to use when we're turning out, right? So when we use the resistance band, um, it forces us to use the muscles that we should already be using when we're turning out. So that's why the TheraBand is there. Um, it would, you would not get the same workout or stretch if you were just doing parallel turned out passe without the TheraBand. Um, so the TheraBand makes us use those muscles. So when you do it, when you do your passes or your retrogrades at the bar, you wanna make sure that you're using those same muscles that you were using when you're doing this exercise, okay? So you should really feel that muscle working out, right? You wanna make sure you're keeping that standing leg parallel. Uh, and you need to do this both right leg and left leg. Um, I would say probably do at least 30 on each side or until you start to feel work. All right, the next exercise we're gonna do is just Ronda Shams with the TheraBand. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the TheraBand, tie it in a circle. The, tie, the smaller you tie the circle, the more resistance you're gonna have as you go around in the Ronda Jam. So keep that in mind. Play around with it, see which one is a good challenge for you. You don't want it too tight because if the resistance is too high, then you're not really gonna be able to do the exercise. If there's too much slack, then you're not gonna feel uh, the muscles working at all. So find what's good for you. Um, if you have different resistance therabands, play with those as well. Um, so you're gonna wrap it around uh, your standing leg. Um, you're gonna wanna also put it like underneath your heel. That way it doesn't ride up the leg as you're going around. And literally all you're gonna do is you're gonna go around in a ronde jambe, right? So front, side, back, keeping that leg straight. Obviously the resistance comes down as you come through, but when you stretch the leg away, that is when you feel the resistance, okay? Make sure that you're keeping your turn out as you're going all the way around, okay? And then you can reverse the ronde jambe around Oops. sometimes the uh the fair band gets kind of uh stuck you can also try the ronde on layer right so in the air for an extra workout okay so i would do this uh a few times each way and then make sure you switch feet right once again, this is making sure that all of your muscles are working when you're doing those ronde jambes, okay? Because you're, you're, you're fighting for that turnout, right? And you're going against the resistance of the TheraBand. All right, this exercise, um, we're gonna be uh, laying on the floor and we're gonna do a bridge with our pelvis squeezing uh, something in between our legs. So you can use like a small ball, right? So if you have a small exercise ball, you can use that. I'm using this uh, like small pillow. Um, you could use a towel, um, really anything that's like kind of soft, but can also be firm so it doesn't smush too much. Um, that way you can push up against it, use your muscles, but like your, your legs shouldn't touch. Your knees shouldn't touch together. Okay, so you're gonna lay flat, <clears throat> right? Because from here, we're gonna do our bridge up. So you're gonna put the object in between your knees. Okay, you're gonna squeeze, right? So we're using those inner thigh muscles to squeeze, okay? And we're, uh, hands are flat and we're just gonna bridge up. So when we bridge, we wanna make sure we engage our abs first and our pelvis tilts under before we bridge up. Right, so you should be actively squeezing those inner thigh muscles. Right, squeeze, lift up, then come down and squeeze, lift up and down and squeeze, lift up and down. Right, you probably wanna do this um, 10 to 15 times 
um, maybe like three, uh, three sets. Once again, this is gonna work your inner thigh muscles. Um, make sure that you're using something that you can uh, squeeze in between your legs, uh, but it still pro provides a little bit of resistance. All right, we're gonna do some stretches as well. You wanna do these after all of the exercises um, so that you can really stretch out all the muscles that you just worked really, really hard, okay? So the first uh, exercise we're gonna do, you probably already know what it is. Um, we're gonna place our ankle, cross our ankle over our knee, and then you pull the knee towards your body, right? So that's stretching this muscle right here. <clears throat> Hold it for at least uh, 30 seconds each side. <clears throat> and remember to take deep breaths when you're uh, stretching. You never want to uh, hold your breath or be tense, right? We don't want to hold tension when we're stretching uh, or getting a, a deep stretch because then our muscles aren't going to want to relax. All right, so you're going to do that both right and left leg. <clears throat> uh, next stretch. Uh, you're going to want to do is uh, the pigeon stretch, right? So uh, it's where our front leg is bent and our back leg is straight, right? And we're over that hip. Okay, this is like stretching out the hip. Once again, you're going to want to uh, hold it for at least 30 seconds. If you want to feel more of a stretch, you can lean over the leg. You're going to want to do that both uh, right and left leg for that stretch. Um, then we're going to go ahead and do, um, uh, it's called a pretzel stretch. So what you're going to do, um, kind of like the first stretch that we did, so you're going to cross your knee over, um, but then you're gonna turn in the, the leg that's on, uh, that has the foot on the floor. You're gonna turn it in and you're gonna try to get that knee to touch the floor, okay? So you should feel a stretch in, uh, in like the hip of this muscle. If you wanna feel more of a stretch, pull that leg back more. Once again, you're gonna want to um, hold it for at least 30 seconds and do both right and left. You can hold it for more than 30 seconds, um, but I wouldn't hold the stretches for like more than uh, two minutes because uh, then our muscles start to basically overstretch, right? And we don't wanna do that. Right, so you, will, you would do that both right and left side. And then lastly is frog. So you're gonna lay on your stomach. Um, uh, two ways you can do frog, right? So you can have it where your uh, feet are apart, okay? Or you can have it where your feet are together. Um, either way is fine, just whichever way is like more comfortable for you. I know some people um, are more uncomfortable with the feet together. Uh, so you can do it with the feet apart. You wanna try to get those knees up to where your hips are though, if your feet are apart. Um, you can lay flat. This is gonna give you uh, less of a stretch, uh, but if, you're, if your hips are tight, uh, this might be good enough for you. If you need to feel it more, right, you can prop yourself up on your elbows. Um, and you wanna hold this once again, for at least 30 seconds. Probably since this one doesn't have like a right or a left side, you could probably hold this for a little longer, like a minute or a minute and a half. Um, yeah. All right, so that was the video for uh, exercises and stretches to help with your turnout. Uh, these are perfect to do while you're watching TV or watching a movie at home. Um, and I will see you guys next time.